You guys, I'm super excited about what Shayla, Shayla, can you just introduce yourself really quick and tell us like a little bit about you and, and what you do as a galactic shaman? <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm Washayla Sananda and I am a, an embodied ascension trainer, mentor, where you're embodying certain energies and raising the frequency of your body, of your energy field. Uh, and this is mind, body, spirit of your mindset in order to create really the life that you desire to live. And as a galactic shaman, I am a visitee of galactic consciousness since my youngest memories. And so I have learned to work with energies and entities that are known as galactics in order to, you know, really bring through the information that they are here to help with the ascension, the moving into higher dimensional frequencies of our planet and humanity. And so I work with them, I channel information, and I also um, work with, I, I'm a channel, conscious channel myself. So I bring bring through a lot of different uh, consciousness, not just one, but many, and a lot of different collectives of consciousness. And then I'm also a frequency holder. So I am um, like one of my jobs here, maybe my primary job is to hold a, a really channel a certain frequency of encoded information, light information, and be able to uh, provide that. And many of us do this without knowing, but provide a certain frequency for the ascension of humanity. Oh, that's so beautiful. I mean, I knew I liked you. <laughs> so like you you, too. yeah. Um, do you want to introduce Elky one so everybody can get like a, a concept, you know, right away about like, what is Elky one and show us maybe the light sphere, hold it up and yeah, absolutely. Okay. So I, I tried to set this up. It's right in front of me. This is an Elky one light sphere. And I don't know if you can see the logo in the middle. It has a really pretty logo there in the middle, but um, probably a small, this is the, the biggest one. This is heavy. So maybe I'll show you a smaller one and see if I can, can, um, you can see the center it has this pretty laser engraved. Anyway, we'll show you, you a picture later. <laughs> can you hold the but, big one up again? Yeah. Okay. You know what? That one's just so heavy to hold up. I also have okay. the 4.7. How about this one? Oh, that's right. Can you see oh, that? Does that, that is work? So cool. Okay. It's kind of hard to get the, um, yeah. the image right, right in front of the camera, but Okay. So Elgiwan is a, um, it's this sphere that is, contains, it contains 15 different rare elements and as well as silica oh. embedded in glass in this glass sphere, they are handmade in the Czech Republic. And Elgiwan was basically channeled in by a man named Stepan Orednik. And he's, uh, he's Czech, so I don't say his name perfectly. That's about the best I can do. Uh, but he brought this through after receiving this technology from the seventh dimension and the Arcturians. So the Arcturian Galactics, they are a galactic race, as well as the angelic realm, which came through the seventh dimension. And they gave him the recipe, they gave him the, the purpose of it, which is also, this is an ascension tool for humanity. It's a healing tool. It is It, it has harnessed photon light, so it emits photonic energy. And that works with the biofield, a person's biofield. It does clearing, it, it purifies the blood. There's actually been a lot of um, scientific tests that show the results of that. It's people are having results such as parasites leaving their body when they're in the frequency of, of this um, photon light sphere and all different types of things are happening. It also clears entities. So this is not just like go but actual um, all different sorts of lower frequency negative energies from a household and from your body and from your energy field that can be lingering around creating havoc in your life. And it, it's people have reported every kind of healing situation you can imagine mm -hmm. from, I mean, some miraculous things like diseases 
healing up, healing and, and completely going away to just a general feeling better energetically. And, um, you know, just it kind of the list goes on and on of what people have experienced because it works with the biofield and the unique person. So everybody has their own experience of it, but almost everyone that, that is around it has an experience of feeling better, of feeling upgraded, of feeling uplifted. And one of the cool things about it, I mean, while it's wonderful to have it in your home and have it with you, it also can work virtually. And so I do meditations uh, about once a month with um, with my list on Zoom, whoever wants to show up and just like we're going to do today, and people will report having some amazing experiences just from watching the meditation and also from watching the replay. So it can work distance. People, energy healers um, also use it as in their in their sessions for distance healing. And of course, for in-person as well. That's so fascinating. What are some of the things that people have, like, what's some of the most like outrageous things that people have come back to you with, with like Ooh, the yeah. virtual? I mean, I, I don't know about outrageous, but the parasite one, there was a woman who um, got on a call. She had had itchy skin and eczema since her like for years and years, for decades, I don't even know how long she said for as pretty much as long as she could remember, she had had itchy, uncomfortable skin all over her body. And so she got a, an LQ one, the 4.7 inch size, which is kind of for personal use, but it also is good for a family. She started working with it every day. And she said these black parasites started coming out of her skin in all of her eczema. I know it sounds disgusting. Sorry, but it's kind of outrageous. <laughs> so you asked for outrageous. I was going to say, um, I asked but, for it. <laughs> yeah. These, these, parasites started coming out of her skin. And she said it kept happening, um, you know, throughout the weeks. And then another, like she, a, a part would clear up and then another one would, would clear up one by one until it was all gone. And she had had this and tried everything you can imagine medical. And it wasn't until she got the LQ one that the stuff actually came out of her body and left and, and her skin's clear now. Wow. That is, I mean, that's gross and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so I can give you some spiritual things yeah. uh, that happen because that's yeah. the extreme physical. Yeah. There's also extreme spiritual. I mean, okay. myself, uh, I can say the very first time I held it, I felt my angelic body come, come like I would say, descend around me. And that's something that um, I didn't even know at that point mm -hmm. that they had been channeled from the angelic realm. So it was really interesting for me to learn the source of where this came from. And then I could feel that connection immediately. So people have reported things such as their intuition being activated, their heart center being opened up. Uh, one of the really fun things that's happened to me and many others is a uh, manifestation of money, sometimes large sums of money. Um, when I was first started, started thinking about using this technology, I asked it virtually, you know, I didn't have one yet. I said, if you want me to work with this, then send me some money so I can buy it. <laughs> and uh, I had within two hours of that intention being sent out, I had a new client sign up for a $10,000 package with me, a year long coaching package. What? And um, yeah, and that's like, okay, I'm in. <laughs> and that's happened for many other people. We are, um, I know one woman, Olivia, she talks about how she really wanted the 4.7 inch for herself. And she asked the LQ one, she had the little minis, the balancer spheres. Mm -hmm. And she asked for that to have, for the money to show up and $2,500 popped into her account unexpectedly from an unexpected source within wow. days. So yeah, it works. So, it works. so awesome. Yeah. How many different sizes are there? There's like four different sizes. Yep. Yep. We have, okay. So the largest one is right here. That's the 5.9 inch. We call it the master sphere. That's really okay. for centers. Or if you have, um, if you're an energy worker, energy healer, and you're seeing a lot of clients, it's great for that. Um, the next size is the 4.7. I call that the um, accelerator. This okay. is great for personal size. This one, I sleep with this in my bed. <laughs> I, I just, I love having it around because it always keeps the energy around me clear and keeps mm. the whatever's coming through it, you know, negative stuff doesn't get through this thing. 
Um, and I always have that around in the house. It kind of follows me around. That's the 4.7. Okay. There's, well, it's in a box. I can't get it out right now. There's another size. It's 3.9. That's a little bit smaller than the 4.7. And then we have, this is the two inch balancer spheres and they fit in the palm of your hand. These will, um, these are wonderful for balancing, harmonizing, meditating, balancing your energy really quickly. They're not going to work as deep at as deep of a level as the larger spheres, but, um, they really balance your energy field quickly. And then there's a teeny tiny one called the mini. That's just 1.2 inches and it's really cute. And that one is designed to be partnered with one of the larger, the 3.9, 4.7 or the 5.9. And then you can carry that with you and it holds the energy of your personal larger sphere. And then there's also a pendant, which we don't have available right now. We're out of stock. The the, it's being reworked, but the pendant is the same, like the mini, but you can wear it, which is really fun. Do you, do you have it on so you can show people? I do. I do. It has, it's, it's kind of um, octagonal and it has the, the Elky one symbol in the middle, the logo, and then it it's made of the same material. Whoa. So, okay. Awesome. Um, well, I think that maybe it's time to jump into the meditation. What I'd love to do before I begin, and if someone wants to put things in the chat, this works too. Okay. Um, I love to kind of hear what would you like to focus on? What would you mm. like to embed into the intention of this meditation so that everyone can have the benefit of, you know, rather than me just coming up with things, how about let's uh, let's hear from, from you and anyone else that wants to chime in, what would you like? in this meditation today, because the way Alkimon works is it can work with intention. It can give you anything essentially that, that you are aligned to. It's not going to give you something that you're not, that's out of alignment for you, but we can put anything in the, in the, in the intentions. The ascension frequencies and prosperity. Okay. Ascension frequencies and I know I knew prosperity would be in there. So Heather's saying courage and the will for next steps. Yeah. Willpower is great. I I think also I'm getting, um, personal power, empowerment. Mm, there we go. Personal power too. It's, it can be hard to stay in your own power yeah. in the intensity of the way that right. the world is right now, the solar flares, all the stuff that's going on energetically. Yes. So really to be able to anchor into your personal power, right. uh, is, okay. is really helpful. So Thaddeus said creativity, abundance, and output. Okay. Yeah. Just, it gives me some ideas. Now these words may or may not be said, but just know that those intentions, those preliminary intentions are all embedded. I don't pre-plan these meditations. I just say the words that come through, but the filter is, is, um, everything that was just put in intentionally there is going to be coming the frequency codes. If you want to call it that the codes that come through in this meditation are going to be projecting those intentions to everybody that joins in, in this. So I'm going to adjust the camera a little, so we get more of this sphere here. Yay. You know, if you want to make sure that you're setting sacred space for yourself, protect your room. If you're in a place where um, you can make sure that, that you're in private space for at least 10 to 15 minutes, shut your cell phone off. If you, if you have a device around you that might be on or that's going to ring or an alarm that's going to go off, turn those things off just for the next few minutes here and create a sacred space where you're really able to tune in and be present with what's, um, what that's going to come through because these are some very powerful energies that can come through for you. And I want you to be able to be fully present. Just begin to close your eyes and deepen your breath. And you're getting present with the breath as you're breathing, you're bringing deep inhales, deep breaths into the belly allowing the belly to expand on the inhale. And then on the exhale, just letting all of that air out, contracting the belly. And as you're breathing, you're relaxing, you're tuning in to your personal presence. You're allowing yourself to really be here now noticing the breath 
and the deepening into yourself, the deepening into your body, and the deepening into relaxation as you breathe. Very good. And now as you're breathing, bring your awareness to your heart center and find the light within your heart. This is your personal heart light, your heart energy. And feel that light, whatever color it might be for you, whether it's clear or golden or sparkly or red, just imagine that heart light growing and expanding out around your chest. Take a deep breath into it. Let it expand again, this heart light now creating a sphere around your body. And as you are feeling the sphere of light from your heart around you, we're going to bring in the Alkiwan photon energy. So imagine yourself stepping in to the center of this Alkiwan sphere. And now you have the sphere around you and this photon light surrounding you. And so just take a moment to feel, how does it feel to be inside this beautiful sphere or orb of conscious light energy? The light energy around you now combining with your heart energy and your intention has the ability to react to anything that you are intending. Anything that you desire is heard and reflected back to you in this photon energy, in this photon light. While you are being upgraded and cleared your energy field is clearing of any lower densities. Your thoughts are being cleared and upgraded as your consciousness is able to integrate this upgrade of photon light. And so just imagine it now as it is upgrading your biofield, any any rough patches or holes or damaged areas of your biofield, also known as aura, the energy around your body, are being filled with this brilliant high dimensional photon light. It's coming in and it is, you can think of it like liquid crystal plasma filling in any areas that need enhancement, that maybe have been needing to be filled in or upgraded, any holes, any dark areas just being flooded with light and liquid plasma. This is, this liquid plasma is the creative energy of this reality, the creative energy of our universe, filling in our biofields with divine light, conscious light, light that is always holding the frequency of our highest good. It is inspiring the highest level of creative energy. And now as we are feeling our biofields fully intact, fully upgraded, fully enhanced by this light, allow the photon light to move into your physical body. And as it's moving into the physical body, just first allow it to go wherever you want it to go. And I'm getting the guidance at this point. If you want to open your eyes and look at the sphere, if that's helpful to you, you can just gaze at the sphere gently. If it's more helpful to you to keep your eyes closed, that's fine to imagine it because you are inside of it and you are inviting the consciousness of photonic light to come into your body now 
And let's start at the crown of the head with the brain and just allow and invite this light to move into the brain, upgrading all of the, the physical structures of the brain, the glands of the brain, coming in and activating, harmonizing, and balancing the energies of the brain, and then finding within the brain mechanism, are there densities or densified energies, lower frequency thought forms that are in this space of your brain that are ready to be cleared? And if so, if you find some of that, if you are aware of it, or even if you're not, go ahead and affirm, I allow the Elkiwan sphere, the photonic light to clear any density, any lower densities, any heavier thought forms that are not for my highest good to be cleared from my brain and to be cleared from my mental space and then to be cleared Imagine this energy from the center of your brain moving out to be cleared from my consciousness, consciousness of the individual self, and now to be cleared from the consciousness of my collective self, my soul, my soul family, my galactic family, allowing this consciousness clearing to be activated across all time, dimension, space, and reality for yourself and your soul and your greater being. And just take a few deep breaths here while you allow that consciousness upgrade to align. Very good. And now take a deep breath from the crown of your head and move that energy down the spine going to move it into the throat, allowing the same clearing to happen in the throat space, the divine light energy, photon light clearing the throat, activating highest truth, activating the language center of highest consciousness, and clearing out any lower energies from this center so that we may affirm, I speak clearly, I speak truth, I speak from the highest consciousness available to me at all times. My speech and my voice are pure and clear and easily understood by my higher self, by all those who are intended to receive my voice and by the divine so that what comes from me and what is brought to me through this center is always of the highest purity, the highest light, and for the highest good. Very good. Now take a deep breath as that is aligning. Going to move down to the heart center. Just allow your heart to be open and activated by divine love, by the purest energy of the universe, pure, clear, unconditional divine love through photonic light. Just let your heart feel whatever it's feeling as it's clearing and receiving an upgrade, receiving this love energy through the light. You might see the diamond light of the heart. This is the infinitely faceted diamond light that anchors Christ consciousness in the body. And then breathe that and continue that down into the solar plexus, the navel center, allowing this upgrade to move into the power center, empowering your physical body with divine light energy, photonic 
light clearing. And breathe into the center as you feel. And I'm seeing now the central sun far above your head, the central sun energy full of activation codes, full of ascension frequencies moving into your solar plexus, moving into the center of the Alkiwan sphere and expanding out to hold this energy, hold your empowerment, to hold the truth of knowing that I am divine. I am the embodiment of divinity. I know my power and my truth, and I hold my power in the highest light and intention through this solar center activation now. Take a deep breath to the navel center. So we bring that down to the second chakra area where your reproductive organs are. This is a space of creativity, that liquid pl uh, crystal plasmic light energy being activated here to inform all of your highest intentions, bringing the divine light of truth, of knowing, of power, and of pure creativity to all that you intend to create for the highest good in this world through your embodiment, activating the creativity of the center. And just breathe into that space. And now moving down to the root, the base, the base of the spine, the root chakra. You can also think of this at the bottom of the feet. And this is also where the kundalini energy lives. This is the anchoring space. We anchor all of this light and these higher dimensional frequencies into the base of the spine, allowing the activation and clearing of the physical through this center, clearing of the energetic bodies, clearing of the mind and the consciousness, all lower densities that are no longer needed are, are cleared through the space and this higher light, higher consciousness, higher ways of being in the world, all activated and anchored here at the base of the spine. And the frequencies of activated kundalini energy being upgraded here. And now take this energy and move it all the way down to the center of the earth, finding the heart center. And this is the crystalline heart center of Mother Earth, of Mother Gaia, Sophia Gaia, Sophia Gaia Christ, the highest ascended frequencies of the divine feminine, the center of the earth. And this is pure creative energy from nature that we're bringing up now. Bring that up through the layers of the earth, bringing it up through roots, carrying liquid crystal plasma up into the base of your spine, up through the bottoms of the feet, into the body, coming all the way up to the crown of the head and expanding out around you into the sphere of light. This is multiple spheres of light around you. And now feel the angelic, the ascended angelic realm holding space around this sphere that is around your body. And feel the angelic and archangelic presences bringing your angelic body around your physical body and enhancing the light of this beautiful, super high conscious, angelic activation of light. And just feel the frequency of that, feel the emotions of that, feel whatever physical feelings your body might be feeling, could be tingling. Perhaps you're seeing a visual here as you are receiving and being open to receiving this angelic body activation. 
And take some deep breaths as you can interact and allow yourself to have whatever type of interaction. Maybe you can see your primary angel around with you, around you and with you, handing you this, this beautiful activation in the codes to activate your divine light body. And at this point, you are being guided to request from your heart center to make a request of the angelic realm and of the highest divine light, something that is for, could be for your personal highest good or for the highest good of humanity or for the highest good of the planet or anything else that you feel a heart desire resonance with. And I'm being told that your wishes will be granted in the space as long as they are aligned to your highest good. And then I'm seeing the golden infinity of light. So imagine a, a giant golden infinity sign starting in your heart center and then creating a loop that's going all the way to the heart of the angelic realm and all of the angels around you are receiving it and amplifying that light back to you so that you may receive all that is in your highest good and that you may hold the frequency of this light and reflect it and share it with all whom you come in contact with, all of the other people, all of the plant and animal kingdoms, the seen and unseen, and your galactic families may all receive the benefits of this infusion of high divine light. Also being told that everything that was requested at the beginning in the intentions is being granted in this space and everything that was also unspoken at the beginning of this in intention is being received and granted for the highest good of all. Very good. And now take a deep breath, bringing your hands to your heart center. And as you do that, just imagine bringing this energy into your heart and into your physical body, feeling how good it feels, feeling the gratitude, getting present to gratitude for all that you have received in this space and in this light. Gratitude to all of the Ascension Guides the angels, archangels, and angelic realm, to all of our personal guides, and to the Algiwan light, the photon light for assisting in this upgrade. And just breathe into your body, getting present to your physical form, your physical embodiment, bringing some energy and awareness back now to your toes. Just kind of bounce your legs, bounce your toes, feel your, your feet and your ankles, and feel that energy. If you want to bounce your, your body around a little bit, bringing physical awareness back to your knees, up your legs, to your thighs, just start to move around up to the midsection, your waist, moving the waist around a little getting more and more present, bringing that awareness back up, up the spine, into the shoulders, into the chest, move your shoulders into the arms and the hands and up the neck You can move your neck around, getting present, bringing full awareness now all the way into the body, into your eyes. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Coming back fully present, fully aware, fully activated, and feeling that focus of that light in your body. Whatever it feels like is perfectly fine. And this would be a great time to have a drink of water. 
and just let yourself and drink extra water today after doing that. That was some high activation of light and you want to, it's kind of like a, a, an energetic massage. So you want to drink extra water so you can continue the cleansing of whatever is being cleared out of you and continuing the integration of whatever it is that you are integrating. And I'll hand it over to you, Heidi. Oh, <laughs> I'm not ready to come back yet. <laughs> With Shayla, that was so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I had um, Gabriel come in. Mm. So I don't know what that means, but that was really, and then the backs of my legs were like so tingly. And then a mother spider came in and put this crystalline cocoon around me. And then it was a butterfly, just like all this crazy stuff. I was like doing some shape shifting, but yeah. I've been around Alki one but it's been a while since I've done a guided meditation with you, um, with it. And, oh my God, I forgot how glorious that is. <laughs> um, Heather saying she had, I get head pressure when I do things like this. I saw a circle of angels surrounding me and they danced at the end. Oh, it's so beautiful. Nice. I forgot about the angelic part of the Elky one with Shayla. Yeah, that was, that was, that's the big, biggest part of it for me. Yeah. And of course the Arcturians okay. have a hand in it as well. Wow. So incredible. Well, welcome. <laughs> I would, I would say relaxed, but also quietly energized. Mm, yes. Nice. Yeah. You know, one thing I would say about the head pressure, we were also doing, we, I didn't know that we were going to work on like the physical body, uh, oh. and start like, I've never quite done it that way before, especially starting with, with the head and the brain, okay. but, um, the, the pressure in the head is it, it's not uncommon, but it it's kind of, uh, a, a physical, a uh, tangible thing that tells you something's going on here, you know, something's working. And we were doing some clearing of the brain and that mental space. So um, that, you know, that just is, is evidence for you. And some of us like that evidence that, okay, something's really going on here. Something's happening. Um, so that's kind of fun. That's super fun. Oh yeah. So Heather says, yeah, I could feel the energy moving around here. She's been having a lot of synchronicities coming in. Could I do this meditation like regularly and ask um, different things? And is this similar to um, kind of Dr. Joe's distance healing in a way? Um, oh, that, those are great questions. First of all, you can do this anytime you want. Because I was going to ask you the same thing. Like I was going to say, yes. well, Shayla, can we do this every day or often, or is it kind of like you should do it one time and kind of back off a little bit? No, no, no. So. You can do it. I mean, it's, okay. this is, this is like energy that you can use and work with any time. You yeah. don't even have to do the meditation. I mean, you can do the meditation as much as you want. It's not going to hurt you. Um, but you, you don't even have to do the meditation once you've done it a couple of times and you really have, you have a tangible, uh, knowledge and understanding a, a physical visceral understanding of what happens and the frequencies, okay. then you can work with those frequencies anytime, anywhere, you know, and, and even, you know, I, I play with things like putting, uh, putting the LK1 sphere around my car or around my, my children, <laughs> or, you know, like just to, to put it around situations um, and work with the energy that way. Photon light is not, um, it's, it's not just contained, right? It can, it can go, it's not bound by space and time. Let's put it like that. So yes, just like Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations and distance healings, where you're sending energy or sending, you know, uh, frequencies basically, and in with your intention, with your, uh, you know, hands when we're praying over someone or whatever, the, however you do that, um, the, this is not unlike that. It's just that we have a support. It's everything that we do can be supported with Alki one and with the photon light. It's like an amplifier. It is an amplifier of energy. It's a concentrated source that it emanates from. It never absorbs. So you don't have to worry about clearing it. So, um, in the same way you can use the, the frequencies and the photon light to send distance. So what my, I have a friend who does Hans, he does, um, cranial 
sacral. Mm-hmm. And when he got Alki one, they got a master sphere. They have a center here called opt for light in Sarasota. And he got a master sphere and he puts it under the table when he's working on a physical person that's there. But when he's not working with somebody in person, he will, he actually works with the energy of the sphere and it guides him in how to direct the, um, the distance cranial sacral sessions that he's doing. So I find it fascinating that you can do distance cranial sacral, just like distance Reiki, but he's actually been working with this technology, which is conscious and it has shown him how to do some things and shown him how to work with it. And then when his, when he's working on someone that also has one, that also has an LK one of any size, Mm -hmm. they will partner up and amplify and expand the healing energy. So it's really fascinating. And we're still, we're always discussing discovering new ways to use it. And, you know, it's not bound by space and time. So it can be sent to someone, even if they don't have one, it can be sent to someone. It's basically like, like harnessing the intention and then projecting it out. And it, it's not bound by the physical. So it doesn't have to, the person doesn't have to be physically present to receive it. Wow. It's fascinating. I love this world. (laughs) It's so fun. (laughs) I mean, I don't know. When I first saw that Elky one ball, there's, I mean, it's magnetic. There's something to it. Right. And I was just like, what is this? <laughs> and yeah, I think it was Shayla. You obviously had the same effect. Julie, you should come to the pyramid retreat and you can, <laughs> we can meditate with, with Shayla with the Elky one ball in the freaking pyramid. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Talk about double down. <laughs> That's pretty fun. That's a good segue. If you want to talk about the pyramids, Lori just popped in and she said, I felt the activation in every chakra with tingling and yawning. Oh, interesting. At the root, I set the intention connected to nature, animals, earth to ask for healing for all. Thank you so much. I felt the angels, my guides helping. Oh, that's so beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you for for sharing that with the earth and all of the beings. So beautiful. Yeah. So you guys, um, with Shayla and Thaddeus and I are hosting a retreat and, and that is the 16th to the 21st of April and with Shayla will be bringing the master ball. And I actually cannot sleep in a pyramid with the master ball because it's so intense and it's so crazy. Last year I was like, Shayla, that thing's got to go. I'll just have the 4.7 in our row, in our, in our pyramid. (laughs) Oh my God. We're, and we were experimenting with that. You had just gotten it. Right. Yeah. I mean that. Yeah. And we were just like, Ooh, this is cool. I'm like, "Ah." but you can't sleep in the pyramid with it either. Can you? I don't sleep with the the master sphere in in my room even at home. I do sleep with it in my house. I actually um yeah, I sleep with it in the other room, but I don't put it in in the room that I'm sleeping in. It's too much, too much energy. Yeah. Yep, I'll bring I'll bring the balancers. Oh, balancers. Um, yeah, and I have okay. a couple sets of those for sale right now. If I still have them then I'll bring them, you know, if they okay. sell before then I won't, I okay. have two, 3.9 inches. I'll bring those. I'll bring all of the, thing. I'll bring all of them. I'll okay. bring everything that I've got. So okay. all of the different sizes will be represented there so people can see them. And then uh, of course, people will be able to order from there if they want. But it, the, I mean, the point is to be able to be in their energy and frequency and play with them and get to actually hold them because it's really special. It's awesome to meditate with them virtual, but to hold them and be in their yeah. presence is, is even more fun. <laughs> yeah. And when we're at the pyramids, you guys, we're going to be doing that live. Like the Swiss Shayla is part of, you know, like part of what we're doing is the LK1 meditations. And they also have, um, we're going to be spending some more time in the mineral pool. There's this like magical, um, fresh spring and it's full of like selenium, sulfur, magnesium, all these healing elements in the water. And I'm going to be teaching Kundalini yoga, like in the mineral water too. Like I'm super excited about that. So, um, and that's just like two things, right? Like we're going to be making art with Shayla is going to take us through a Metatron's cube art making process. So it's very geometric and very linear. And then I'm going to be teaching how to draw mandalas. So it's very organic and flowy. So a nice contrast. I really love, I love contrast. So is there anything else you want to add, Bushela, to yeah. that? Yeah, we'll be doing some breath work. 
yep. and Tai Chi, I believe, and, you know, some sun gazing for anyone that wants to get up with the sun and just experience all of the beauty of, um, it'll be, you know, it'll be warm, I'm sure, uh, next month. And that's one of the reasons last year we did February. So we weren't able to get in the water that much because it was cold. I mean, we, we did a little, but it was kind of yeah. chilly. Yeah. Um, so doing it in April, we'll be able to be in the water a lot more. And really the thing that happened last year that was so sweet is just everybody felt like family, you know, we're, we're also juice fasting for oh, yeah. three days, right? Yep. Um, so we get together in, um, and we're not hardcore about that. If you want to supplement your juice fast, that's perfectly fine. We're providing it. You can do what you want, but, um, but we come together for the purpose of movement and ascension and health and wellness and nature. And then everyone just like evolves and becomes this beautiful family and sleeping in the pyramids you get they're designed to heal you get this healing energy of the pyramids every day and every night and so you're really getting activated on so many levels and it's just this wonderful rebalance regroup reset for your life in this five days in the florida pyramids and perfect timing for like springing into the, you know, the new year. This is the, this is actually the new year, right? In nature, mm-hmm. <laughs> springtime, mm-hmm. right? Reset and recalibrate. Um, Thaddeus will be lecturing you guys about circadian rhythm and heliotherapy and all kinds of like fun beyond biohacking things um, that, you know, like are pretty esoteric, but just like expanding, right? Like different modalities and things and opening. And we go out in the morning sunlight every morning together. And like what Shayla said about really becoming, you know, like a family, we, we spend this time in these magical frequencies, the sunlight, the morning sunlight is information. I think last year, didn't you get a download that we all exposed our navels and there was like a frequency that was coming in some kind of, was yeah, that-, that actually happened at the mastermind last oh, year, mastermind. but yeah, it was okay. right before the pyramids. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so then we were like, yeah, like yeah. expose our navels to, <laughs> to, yeah. to the sunlight. Um, Solar. but, but it is, you guys, it's just, it's beautiful. And with the juice fasting, I don't know if, if people have never done a juice fast before, like I couldn't finish all of them because I was always so full because sunlight is actually, um, it's nutrition. So when you're in that much sunlight too, and we're careful about like what times of the day you're, you know, like out and we make sure we are well informed about that. But, um, you know, if you're out in the morning sunlight, you can actually hold more light in more sunlight. So we teach you about that. Like morning sunlight is a natural sunscreen. So there's some really cool things that, um, we get to, we get to share, make art and meditate. And you're going to bring the Lucia light. Yes. I'm also bringing Lucia light, Lucia number three. And so everyone will get to, if you want to participate in experiencing the Lucia light, which is also a consciousness, a divine light consciousness tool. And it's a lot of fun. It's kind of like a psychedelic trip, kind of like your background there, Heidi, (laughs) but without, uh, without psychedelics, it's all done with light. So it's a lot of fun. This is what you see in the Lucia light without like the plant medicine. (laughs) It's so crazy, but more colorful. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so fun. Yeah. It's fun to do with pyramids. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. So we've got a couple of pyramids op- still open, still, yeah, you um, can still get in. So, yeah. um, uh, April 16th, go to primalhacker.com. Actually. All right, you guys, it's been so much fun with Shayla deep gratitude for you spending the time with our community. And I can't wait to see you next month. We can share this blessing, right. With yeah. the world for the world's ascension, honestly. That's the work we're here to do. So I want to live in a heart-centered world. And that's part of my message with my Frequency Collective. So you guys are doing such good work. I'm super proud of you. Thank you.